Brown. And I'm Malik Forte, and welcome to Expert Mode Rig Wars. I've been in many competitions before, so I've been in those tight spots, and I really feel that that brings me an edge. I'm up against some stiff competition here. Mark, he's methodical and knows what he's doing. And Hassan, man, he's got a lot of potential there. I'm the youngest guy here, but I'm thrilled to be competing against these veterans. So hopefully I'll do great. So far, our challenges have been strictly performance-based, but nothing beats a gorgeous machine with a great design to match its raw power. Your challenge today will be to trick your rig out with the most impressive color scheme, lighting, and cabling to elevate the aesthetic of your rig. You'll have 90 minutes to mod your rig any way you can. Best design wins. And one last thing, only two of you will advance to our final challenge. The modder with the lowest total points at the end of tonight's challenge will be going home. Travis is on top with six points, with Mark right behind him with four. And Hassan is in last with just two points. That means Hassan needs to win his next challenge, or he will be eliminated tonight. Modders, your time starts now. I can't believe the time frame that they want us to do this. I know I'm limited on time, but there's some custom modifications that I need to do to pull out of the competition. You guys want to get some Dremel action? Because I got third place in the last competition, I got to do something really unique to get into the next round. Somebody's going home. I really hope it's not me. The first thing I have to do is remove the power supply so I can take the factory cables out and install the custom cable sets. I'm feeling really good in the beginning. I spend some time doing some cable management. I'm thinking this is coming together, but it started to fall apart. Travis is sweating. He is yeah. putting uh, everything he, into this. Oh. Yeah, it looks like he made a mistake. Did he break that? I started to have problems with the cables. I didn't have all the tools at my disposal, so it really came up to innovating on the spot. Attention, modders. You have 30 minutes left to finish your rigs. Oh, it leaked. I turn the PC on to see if the LED works, and one of the hoses pops off. Okay. This is the worst thing that can happen to me right now, and I got to fix it fast. This is not good. I managed to get enough liquid out so there wasn't any leaking, got it plugged back in, and everything worked fine. Mark, on the other hand, he's got a huge issue. His light kit is not working, and without that, I don't think he has a chance. It's late in the challenge. I'm not too excited about it, but I know there's no stopping. I have to continue to push forward and complete this project. That'll do it. Attention, modders. You have five minutes to finish your rigs. As I'm putting the final screws in, I got the case panel on, I fire it up. The LED lights really make everything shine. All the colors start to pop and come together. I'm pulling all my stuff together in the last few minutes, and I think it's really some of my best work. OK, modders, your time is up. looking machine. I chose cables that will coordinate with the tubing and fittings, along with adding the LED strip and using the white LED color to brighten up the whole inside of the case. I'm loving the clean cabling here. Yeah. Look at it. The tubing's awesome. And then he has blue coolant. All right, let's Ooh. look at Hassan. So I got red fittings and red sleeving to match the build, and put it all together to look killer. One of the cool things about the case is it has a little window in the corner, and I wanted to feature something there, so the SSD was perfect. I took the hex mesh from the fan filter, put it right there for a pattern, stuck the Intel SSD there, put some LEDs, and it looked amazing. All right, Travis, what you got? I decided to go with something that was clean. I wanted a finished product that just shined. I mean, obviously, the green just pops. LED lights really catches on the reservoir, which is a UV reactive green, and it's absolutely beautiful. It really comes across as a complete theme. I, I like the color scheme here. Yeah, this looks fantastic. Come on here. I think we have a decision. Guys, that was an amazing challenge. All three of you did a fantastic job modifying your rigs. But unfortunately, there's only two spots in the final round. Travis. Your rig came in second place, which means you have secured a spot in the finals. Congratulations, man. All right, so this means it all comes down to Mark and Hassan. Only one will be moving on 
to the final challenge. After careful consideration, we have decided that the winner of the design challenge is Hassan. Congratulations. Which means, unfortunately, Mark, you will not be joining us in the finals, but you should be proud you did some amazing work. Thank you. So Hassan, come on over here, man. Congrats. How you feeling? Uh, it feels amazing. I mean, I can't explain it. It's awesome. <laughs> you, you seem like you're a little in shock right now. <laughs> no, right? All right, well, you will be moving on to the finals with Travis, and we hope that everyone will join us for the finale of Rig Wars. It was a great experience. It was great to be pitted up against two fierce competitors. And this is something that I will take with me for a long time.